I'm going to go to SketchHub and I search for a funny person and I love Finn from Adventure Time. So I'm going to download this model. Perfect. I'm going to download in an OBJ format. Now I'm going to go to Mixamo.com and click upload characters. I'm going to drag the Finn file and it would lead you to this web page. It's going to make you select the chin area, the wrist area, the elbows, and the knees, and the groin. You can see where everything should be placed in this image. And if your model is not symmetrical, you can turn off the symmetry, but I like to keep it on. This is the most important part. Under the skeleton LOD, you can see these are the number of bones and they're all under 50, so they would work with Effect House. So I'm going to click on this and then click Next. Perfect, now it's rigging. You can see that our model is rigged and now it kind of looks like a real human being. So I am happy with my result. But if you don't like your result and it looks kind of goofy, you can click the back button and re-rig your character. But at the moment, I am happy. So I'm going to click on next. Now my character is uploaded. So I will want to select an animation for him. I am going to go choose a dancing Ooh, i like this rumba dancing yeah you can you can also change how enthusiastic the person is how fast this person is moving and a bunch of things but i am satisfied with the result so i am going to download now perfect i'm going to download it as an fbx file now i'm going to open effect house now i'm going to drag my file in and import now we have our model. If we drag it to the panel over here, you can see that it's dancing. You can use the scale to scale it up. Now I am going to go and select an environment where it has a little bit of a sky. I don't think any of these have sky, so I'm going to use this custom video that I uploaded. If you want a tutorial on how to upload custom videos, check the card or look at my magical Effect House tutorial playlist. It will be under there. Now we're going to add segmentation. Go add objects, segmentation, and now we can see the background. I'm going to turn off the background because I don't need that. Under portrait segmentation, you can select the type of what you want it to be segmented. I'm going to say sky. So now only the sky part is selected. And I want to make sure that this dancing character is covered. So I'm going to click invert mask. So the, the field part that isn't sky is selected. Now I'm going to go into our model, click until you can see all of these. And I don't know what this default thing is. I'm going to delete it. And on this, you can see that this is the model because it disappears when I turn off the visibility. And you can see that it's in the default layer. I'm going to change this. I'm looking at the background canvas and it's on layer two. So I'm going to put it on the same layer as the canvas so that it covers it. But now it's way too big. So let's scale it back down again. Make sure to select, grab the entire model and not do what I just did. Perfect. It might need some fine tuning, however. Now you have the model and it's segmented and it will only show in the sky. So I see the texture for Finn is missing. So I'm going to go to downloads and look at the file that we download from the Sketchfab and under it has textures. So I'm going to go drag that in. For some reason, while it was being imported, I think it got left out. That's fine. We can always fix it. Don't worry. 
So under P cube, so I'm going to create a material, a material, and then I'm going to select unlit, and I'm going to click texture on, and then I am going to add thin texture. Now I'm going to go select it under P cube, and now he has a texture, and this is our dancing samba thin filter. Yay! And it's segmented, which means if you move this model, it would cover it. Oops, move too much. Ta-da! Yay! Good job, everyone, for following. This was slightly more complicated than the other ones, but I'm proud of you if you made it. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Have a nice day. Bye!